Hello, everybody. Actually, I already screwed up. Need to shut my door. Not a smart one today. So, here's the deal. Did a major ton of grinding. I really, 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 really need to kind of get a move on with this game. I feel like I've been stuck here for forever. Uh, but Yukari's tired because she's a wee babby and wanted to go back to the dorm. So, fuck. But, here, I'll give a status. Oh, totally forgot. Guess what I did wrong? I missed an Elizabeth date. Totally close. So, I actually, I not only did, I did a shit ton of grinding, then reloaded an old save, did the Elizabeth stuff, and then went back, did a ton more grinding, and then did a ton more grinding past where I had originally started. It's it's been a little bit rough to say the least. So I'm level 57 now. Um, I think everybody else is like level 55 or 56. And as you can see, yeah, I definitely didn't do it on camera. Uh, I have some new persona. So uh, I need to be level 62 to fuse. I think it's the ultimate justice persona. I forget. I forget exactly which one. I was trying to fuse, or whichever one this... No, Fortune, Fortune, there we go. Norn. So, I kind of was working on getting some of the ultimate persona. I got Cert um, with Growth 2 and a bunch of other cool stuff. Then I also got Thor, which... Yeah. I like Thor. Yeah, so... I got Thor, and... Oh, I actually figured out in kind of just quickly looking to see how to fuse uh, some of the other Max Social Link Persona that I think it is Odin that I need to use, not Thor, because it's Thunder Rain or whatever that has, like, an incredibly high chance of uh, shock. But all right, so... Second little note. Yeah, I, I need to like get a move on with this game a little bit more. Uh, not in my normal way, which means I'm just going to kind of like try to power through to the end. But just in a way that I'm not going to be having as much grinding be posted. Because I, you know, I, I know that that's not fun. And so I, I'm i going to cut a little bit of it. But since little babby girl Yukari is tired, we're going to go ahead and... Go back to the dorm. I, I'm probably going to come back, like, the second that Yukari is, is feeling okay. I'm going to probably come back and just force her to fight again. Because uh, we need we need some serious grinding going on. So it'll either be tomorrow or the next day. Or actually, I forget what the... Uh, it's normally, I think, if you go out the night before a full moon... Normally, on the full moon, everybody is feeling okay or something like that. I, I forget. It, it, and that might also be in Persona 3 Portable. It's little changes like that are different between the versions. Good morning. I intend to do my best to protect everyone. Is something wrong? You seem fanatical. No, please do not worry. I just wanted to share my feelings. If you say so. Although you're starting to creep me out a little bit. Shit, yeah. Oh, also, I have a funny GameStop story to tell. Although I feel like it shouldn't... At this point, it shouldn't even be like a, a surprise... Sorry, I had to burp. So, I am i don't pre-order games. I really don't. Uh, because I, I kind of would rather wait to see real footage and real stuff going on. But I really want to play the, the Street Fighter V beta. I really do. I don't talk about it a lot, but I fucking love Street Fighter. And so, I went to GameStop to just be like, Hey, are you guys doing the, the beta access thing? And they were like... Oh, I don't know, and I'm like, I'm like, well, it said online that it prints out on the receipt, and they're like, oh, well, then I guess it does, 
And so I pre-order it, and it doesn't. And they're like, oh, okay, well, when I guess you do your own research and figure out that we're finally doing it, just come back, and then we'll just cancel it and redo it. And I'm like, why the fuck do I have to do that? Why? Like, why? Why should I have to do that? Shouldn't that be part of your job? Like, you know what? I would totally understand if it was like... Uh, like Walmart or something like that, where it doesn't, like, not everybody is incredibly knowledgeable on everything. But this is fucking, like, GameStop. It's a specialized game store. They should know that kind of shit. All right, whatever. Rant over. So I guess we're going to go hang out with, uh, is it Hidetoshi? I think, I think that's his name. Since we're so close to maxing that one out. That's it for today's meeting. Hinatoshi whispers something to you. He said, I love you. With all my heart. Makoto-kun, I want to talk to you after the meeting. Is he going to accuse me? A2 Brute? I'm sorry to drag you up here, but I wanted to tell you something. Sorry, hang on. The cigarette butt incident will be dropped. They say it's my fault for asking so many questions. I wanted to be student council president next year, and the PE teacher agreed to endorse me. But I lost any chance of achieving that goal when, they, when I disagreed with him. The student body is also annoyed with me. I rambled on about rules and fairness, but all I really proved was that I was desperate for power. Once again, this is another one of those things that I keep talking about. Because this social link is a great example of it. In that you're always supposed to just agree with them and their points, not necessarily, you know, try to resolve their problem. It, it does get a little bit better in Persona 4, but because realistically, he was being kind of a jerk. And it is a great thing that he noticed. But if I say good thing you noticed that you're being an asshole, he's going to go, meh, 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 I'm a little baby. But don't blame yourself, buddy. Don't worry. You're going to grow up to be a huge jerk ass. Now I know why the, student, why the president asked you to join student council. Those aren't just empty words, nor sympathy. You genuinely mean what you say. The system only works if you have the people's trust, and trust is not something you force them to feel. When the PE teacher suggested that you should be a suspect, I felt as if I was being bullied by an ignoramus who just had more power than me. I felt like the truth was being bent and I might lose a friend as a consequence. If it wasn't for you, Makoto-kun, I would have gotten carried away. Thank you. Once again, though, it's like my words didn't, or the main character's words didn't actually, like, like, I, I... Like, it's just a huge little bit of a difference between some of the social links, like what you say and how they come about it. You know what I mean? It's almost as if people just venting to you makes them learn stuff. Does that make any sense? It, it probably does. Doesn't, but I don't know. It's just something I, I noticed when playing through this game specifically. Don't tell anyone what I just told you. I realize it's out of character for me. I'm sure everyone would just make fun of me. Remember, I expect you to keep this a secret. See you later, buddy. Buddy boy, old pal, old boy. Something like that. Hi, how was your day? Tonight is the full moon. But we won't be conducting an operation. Maybe I should summon Juno, though, just in case. By the way, have you seen Igus? No, I haven't. I guess has been returning late these days. She never used to. I wonder what happened. She's out furiously robot masturbating to uh, Ryoji. Let me see how everybody's doing. No, damn it, you suck. I hate you. Fuck. All right, that's fine. 
So tomorrow then I'll go. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, because pretty much I have a month now at this point to, uh, whatchamacallit, get to the top, pretty much the top of Tartarus, I believe. And I really need to friggin', I might be spending like every other day there at this point. I know that seems super dumb and everything, but I really don't want to, like, I have to, I have to do this. Because that's the one thing that I did differently in this playthrough than most of the playthroughs that I do, in that I normally spend a good, a fair amount of time in Tartarus. And this time around, I did go a little bit lax on it because it's a little bit boring sometimes. I've been looking for you. See Furious Robot Masturbation. You. You're... What are you doing here? Oh, that's right. You don't really like me, do you? Well, to answer your question, I ended up here when I came to my senses. It's strange. The sky and the ground look so weird. And there's no one here. Something terrible has happened here. And yet I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? Uh-oh. Forgotten what? The dark hour. A time period few people are active during. But you, you've somehow adapted to it. Too well for a human, in fact. He also doesn't seem that phased by the fact that she's a robot. Yes, it's all so clear. Now, I understand the reason behind this feeling I sense when you're around. You are not good. You are my enemy. Your enemy? That's right. On a night like tonight, the moon was full. It was long ago. Yes, we met once before. As adversaries. Who... Who am I? Who are you? I am Igis, the last remaining anti-shadow emergency control weapon. A machine created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy shadows? And you, your true name is Death. Bump, bump, bump. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. <sighs> yes, ten years ago. The night I was born into this world, I set foot on this very bridge. The sole purpose of my existence is to destroy shadows. For that reason, I was given a personality and a persona. They said I was death. The 13th Arcana that was never meant to be. And I wasn't in this world for long before parts of my body escaped me, leaving me incomplete, as I was when I met you. Even so, your strength was far greater than I anticipated. The only possible alternative was to seal you away. And as circumstance would have it, a suitable vessel was available. A human child standing nearby. So I did what was necessary. I see. 
So I was confined within him. And I led him to my 12 missing pieces without realizing it. And then... I remember. I remember everything. It all makes sense now. Who and what I am. Palladian! Stop, don't be foolish, I guess. There's no way you can win. I'm different than before. A machine is created for a purpose. Mine is to defeat you. I exist for nothing else. It doesn't have to be that way. not fulfill its purpose. I'm sorry. I'm afraid. Don't scare me like that. Isn't it kind of funny how they all just wake up in the middle of the night and just happen to be walking around wearing the armbands? It's almost like they're always prepared. The ultimate Boy Scouts. Is something wrong? Well, it's a full moon tonight. You noticed it too, didn't you, Senpai? Jeez, oh, I'm starting to feel like a workaholic. Oh no, did something? We don't know anything for sure. However, we can't find Igis. Huh. Where would she have gone? I sensed a persona, but it quickly disappeared. And soon after that, I couldn't detect Igis's presence. Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't sensed any of their members. But we can't be positive. I've confirmed Igis's location. She's on the Moonlight Bridge. All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on there. I'm sorry. I... I... remember everything. Who I am. Who he is. I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. It's going to be okay. Maybe. I'm sorry. There's no need for you to apologize. You? Ryoji kun? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess. What's going on? It's all my fault. Akihiko, wait. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Tell us. Who are you? What are you? I'm the same as the beings you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm the embodiment of all shadows. The appraiser. 
born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Apprizer? I remember everything now. The frightening truth about myself and shadows. It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about shadows? Yes. Shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. She will begin to awaken as she is drawn to me. The Apprizer. You. You're the Apprizer? What is this maternal being? She is a great entity. There is no comparable word in your language for her. Ten years ago, a man collected a great number of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke in an incomplete state. Not long after, I fell to Igis, as she did to me. Igis? Is that true, Ryoji? She knew she could not defeat me. So in an act of desperation, she sealed me within a child who happened to be standing nearby. That child grew up, carrying me inside him. And by a twist of fate, he later returned here, as a transfer student. You mean... Yes. I lived inside him. His special persona awakened, as did the Twelve Shadows, all in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the appraiser? A and you were inside him? None of this makes sense! It's all my fault. I'm sorry. There's more I need to tell you. Ryoji kun! Really? Really? Eh. He appears to be exhausted. Let's let him rest. We have Igis to attend to as well. We'll continue our talk later. I wish it would have just been like down at the bottom there, like, what the fuck? Never mind, I'm going to sleep. Ryoji lived inside you for 10 years, waiting to make contact with the 12 shadows. And the boy named Pharos was actually Ryoji. So many questions remain unanswered. However, Ryoji is unconscious. So you have no choice but to return to the dorm and rest. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Okay. All right then, I'll see you later. Damn that Ryoji. Is everyone present? Are you okay, Ryoji-kun? Spooka? Why are you being so nice to the enemy? I was gonna say, I was gonna say we should just kill him, but then I was like, but then that would mean it game over. That'll make more sense later when I explain it. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, there's more I have to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun. Yes, there are many questions we need answered. To begin with, 
You said shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Please elaborate on this. The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? Stevie Nyx. Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death to this world. If she is awakened, darkness will once again cover the land and all life will vanish. You mean everyone will die? No. All life will vanish? Then that must mean... Every human being will become like the lost, leading to the extinction of mankind and the end of the world. The fall. But it's still possible to keep it from happening, right? What? There's no way to prevent it? I'm sorry. Wait, what are you apologizing for? Are you saying it's for certain? Yes. You heard the bell. I'm the appraiser, the appraiser of death. My existence is the affirmation of the fall. Everyone is at a loss for words. It is inevitable. The entire human race will become members of the lost. Ryoji's existence confirms the impending extinction of mankind. When? When will it happen? I'm afraid you will not live to see spring. But that's not too far away. <laughs> what are you guys freaking out about? All we have to do is defeat this Nyx. And that won't be a problem because we've never lost. Except for the people that have died, you know. But whatever. Defeating Nyx is impossible. It has nothing to do with strength, ability, or power. Just as all living things die, and the flow of time is continuous. Nyx cannot be defeated. What? That's bullshit! This is all so sudden. The others are unable to hide their fear. I was born from a collection of shadows. But now, I have a human form, so I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. All gifts I received because I was inside him. So, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's coming cannot be avoided. But it is possible to live in peace until she arrives. You'll have to kill me. If I were to disappear, all memories of the Dark Hour would disappear with me. As would any recollection of the fate that awaits you. You won't remember anything. The coming of the Fall will be instantaneous, and you will not suffer. We'll forget everything? You'll be able to return to your normal lives. And in doing so, the time until the fall will be slightly delayed. In essence, I am the same as Nyx and cannot be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's human. So if death comes from his hands, I think it may be possible. 
Ryoji kun. If you don't kill me, you will suffer more than you could ever imagine. With no hope for salvation, you will live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I... I don't want you to have to endure such pain. I don't want my memories to be erased. To forget everything would be like hiding from the truth. Would that really be such a bad thing? All that awaits you now is despair. You don't know the terror of absolute death. Please, don't make your decision without at least thinking about what I've said. <sighs> Why is this happening? You don't have to decide right now. You have until December 31st, New Year's Eve, to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and become intangible. Ryoji? I will disappear with the coming of Nyx anyways. So don't worry about me. I'll be back on New Year's Eve. Ryoji, wait! Wait! I can't sense him anymore. Ryoji-kun's no longer here. Are you sure? Yes. Ryoji-kun. We will see him again on New Year's Eve. A devastating realization. The world will soon perish. The destiny of mankind is extinction. A difficult decision lies before you. Death is inevitable. The appraiser waits for you. You cannot think clearly. How does a person choose the way he will die? Now back to happy, fun, cheery times, right, guys? All right, actually, so I'm going to save and call it for this one, but I wanted to talk about symbolism and stuff first for a minute or two. So now this is all something that I feel a few games really get right, but everything is like all the pieces fit together very nicely in that when you first summon your persona, the one that rips through it is Thanatos, which is the ultimate persona of the Arcana of Death, which was Pharos slash Ryoji. So everything kind of just makes sense. I I really dug that the first like that was a, a very standout thing the first time that I played through this game. And I was actually legitimately surprised when everything kind of came together. Like, just how nicely it fit. It didn't feel like some weird twist for no reason. It felt more so something that had been planned from the start and was very, like, like a very natural thing. And I like that. Games are cool sometimes. But let's save, and then I'm sure everybody's going to be like, I don't want to go to charge because I don't want to die. And I'm going to be like, God damn it, I want to grind. But... That'll be okay. And then whenever everybody is feeling okay and not really scared about their own death. Actually, I'm going to check real quick before I actually sign off. We're all going to die, regardless of how much we want to live. Mother of God. Yeah, so I was right. See, nothing ever works out for me. I Just call me Murphy's Law from now on. 